Hi friends, welcome to Prophecy Update, where we look at current events in the light of ancient Bible prophecy. My name is Bob Mitchell and I will be with you for the next few minutes. And before we get into today's message, I just want to ask you please to subscribe to this channel, click that little bell so that you're notified when new videos come up, and please give us a like, and that really helps to get the videos seen further afield. And to those of you who've recently downloaded the free books, please would you mind just going to Amazon and leaving a review for the book. Okay, let's get on with today's message. I just wanted to get into what's happened just recently in Israel. Iran launched hundreds of drones and rockets at Israel in the last day or so, but less than 1% actually reached Israel to the UK and USA and Israel's own defense shields. Israel survived and Iran wasted millions of dollars in a useless pantomime show of strength. It actually failed miserably. Yet for all that and God's protection of Israel through these technological shields, one truth still stands spiritually. And that is this. At this moment in time, the nation of Israel is a backslidden nation, a people God calls a stiff-necked and a rebellious people. They are a nation that has forgotten the God of the Bible, and even today they reject their Messiah and historically handed him to the Gentiles to be killed. But he rose from the dead, ascended to heaven, and he has a one-way return trip booked for the very near future to rule and reign from Jerusalem. He cannot be stopped. But just as Joseph's brothers hated him and handed him to the Gentiles, where they forgot him, rejected his prophecies, and went on about their ways, believing he was probably dead, at least that's what they told their father, and in some strange way, Israel today is telling God the same, that that upstart false prophet Jesus is dead. You see, for the most part, Israel has forgotten her God. Israel and Jerusalem is the gay center of the world, with massive celebrations each year in the holy city, where God placed his name. What a blasphemy! Some have woken up in Israel to realize that Jesus really is their Messiah, but they are a minority in the nation. But though Israel has forgotten God, Israel's God has not forgotten Israel. He is faithful, and he will fulfill all his word concerning this nation. They are back there for a purpose, for the return of the Messiah. And God's promises to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob cannot fail and they will stand undamaged by whatever the hordes of a fallen world throw against this ancient people. They cannot be destroyed and neither can God's word. His promises for them cannot be annulled. Israel will be brought to her knees in the future in repentance, and Messiah will return in power and great glory and sit on David's throne in the city of Jerusalem. Folks, it will happen. Satan has tried to destroy this people through the centuries. He tried through the Egyptians, through the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Romans, the Crusades, the Roman Catholic Church, the Russian pogroms, the Nazis, the hatred of Islam, and eventually the whole world and the coming into Antichrist. All in the past have failed and vanished into history, and they will do in the future. But the Jew and Israel are still there fulfilling God's word for these last days before the Messiah's physical return and all attacks by the coming Antichrist and Satan and his inspired puppets of Islam as well as the New World Order will in the end find the Jew, as always, standing on the grave of all who attempt to halt the plans and purposes of Israel's God for this people. 
He has promised to protect, to save, and eventually redeem the nation of Israel by bringing them to their knees as they call for the Messiah to return or to come. And just as Joseph's brothers, who were starving, so Israel today, Jesus' brothers in the flesh, are spiritually starving. The day will dawn when they look on Jesus and realise, as did Joseph's brothers, this, our brother, who, while we rejected him and spiritually starved, he was spiritually feeding the Gentiles all this time. You see, Jesus has been feeding the Gentiles all these 2,000 years, while his brothers rejected him and spiritually starved. But there is a day coming soon, and we can see the shadows even today, when Antichrist, the false Messiah, will divide Jerusalem and enter a coming temple and desecrate it before the stunned eyes of the Jewish people. And then the dawning rays of the seventh millennium, that one great millennium, will appear, and Jesus will return, rescue his people, the Jewish people, and his called out once the church, and reign for a thousand years from Jerusalem. Everything is falling into place. The prophetic pieces are beginning to fit, and they cannot be stopped. Soon the trumpet of God will sound to call his church to be with him as he prepares to return and defeat the armies of Satan, both physical and demonic. And that will be the day Israel repents and turns to him. And I pray that today you will turn and follow Jesus before that day. He died on the cross and then he rose again, taking the punishment for our rebellion against God. And now you have a choice in these days to repent, that is, to turn from your sin and accept Jesus' sacrifice on your behalf, or face him on his return and take the punishment yourself. You have a stark choice. Follow Christ, who paid in full for your rebellion as he hung on the cross, or choose not to follow him, take the punishment yourself, which will mean an eternity in a place the Bible calls the lake of fire. A holy God cannot have unforgiven sin in his presence. So that is your choice. He has done all he can to save you by Jesus standing in your place and taking your punishment. But you have to accept that by repenting now and following him today. I pray you will do that. Friends, that's all today. Please subscribe to this channel. Ring that little bell so that you're notified when new videos are uploaded. And when Jesus comes back, I'll see you in the clouds. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.